In this video, I'll show you how you can use Well Said for the narration in your e-learning. My experience with text-to-speech goes all the way back to Adobe Captivate 5, where Adobe Captivate included the NeoSpeech product for the first time. I was forced to use the NeoSpeech product because the company I worked for at the time didn't want to pay for a voice actor or even myself to record the narration for the e-learning courses that I was producing for them. I only wish then that I had access to something like Well Said Labs. It's a fantastic product. Today I'm going to take you through my process of using Well Said Labs for narration. I find that uh, with a little bit of extra finesse, you can bridge the gap between it still sounding a little bit artificial and making it into something that's truly believable as an actual voice from a human being. Let's get started. First of all, let's address the price. I made some comparisons with the pricing I've paid for studio time and voiceover talent to record narration for e-learning. Well Said's creative plan, which is the most popular choice, is equal to just one hour of studio time at the popular recording studio in my area. For that one hour, I would have to either supply my voice as a narrator or incur additional expense to bring in a voice actor. If you record just one e-learning project per month, well Said is the most economical choice. At the time of this recording, Well Said offers 15 voices that you can switch to in an instant if the first voice isn't working out. Alternatively, you can use any of the 15 voices to create scenario-based e-learning that includes conversations between characters. You can't do that by only hiring one voice actor. Once you log into your account at wellsaidlabs.com, you'll see the projects section. Presently, I don't have any projects on the go. It's a valuable feature to be able to organize your content according to the project. Once you have a few dozen scripts, you will appreciate it just from an organizational point of view. If you're passing the cost of Well Said to your clients, it's helpful to know how many clips you've generated and downloaded per client. I've decided to update the narration at the end of all my future YouTube videos. Let's create a new project called YouTube. Click Create Project. Once you click on the YouTube Project folder, Well Said presents me with the script entry window. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the proposed text that I have for the end of my YouTube videos. And we'll see if it sounds okay with the first voice actor, Ava. Okay, that's ready to go now. Let's click on Play. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Okay, a couple of things jumped out at me. There were no pauses in any of those sentences. Here's a tip. I install Grammarly in all of my browsers. So you can see actually the icon here that's making additional suggestions for Grammarly. And I'm predicting that this will be a bunch of commas where I haven't included them. So a good tip would be to go ahead and put the commas in the appropriate place. It simulates the effect that the voice actor is pausing at the appropriate spot in the sentence. So let's go ahead and create this particular passage once more. Now, notice that I've used up one of my allotted clips per month that I'm allowed with my particular plan. The good news is, is that if you hover over the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that the clip that obviously I'm not going to use because it didn't sound very good is eligible to be deleted to get a credit back for that clip. So it's important to make sure that you don't download or combine this clip with another clip because you'll lose that eligibility. So I know I'm not going to save AM100, so I'm going to go straight ahead and delete that. Let's play this back and see how it sounds now. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. 
Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. So you'll notice that I spelled out phonetically CaptivateTeacher.com. That would be my first hint rather than spelling it out as you would if you were typing it into a browser window. The other thing I noticed, I didn't like her pronunciation of YouTube. And this is where the pronunciation feature is quite beneficial. Let's pause from creating a new clip at this point and go over to the pronunciation section. Here I can type in the word if I was including it as part of my script. So I would typically write YouTube. Now I find that they're putting an emphasis on the wrong part of the word here. So I'm going to try one of the phonetic spellings that I know might work really well in this case. First of all, treat them as two separate words. And I'm just going to come up with a different spelling for YouTube. Let's go ahead and add this pronunciation. The next time I write the correct spelling of YouTube in the Well Said Studio, it will automatically use the phonetic spelling I've just entered instead. Let's return back to the studio section and render this passage once again and see how it sounds. Okay, let's go ahead and play that back. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. So I like her pronunciation of YouTube better, but I didn't like the way she spoke one-on-one. -on -one. one of the things that you can do is you can add emphasis to a group of words that are essentially treated as one thing. So I'm going to put quotation marks around one-on-one -on -one, and we're going to go ahead and render this once again. Okay, let's play that one back. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'm pretty happy with that, but the more I listen to Ava's voice, I think that Ava might not be the right voice for this particular passage. So you have 15 different voice actors available at your disposal. So we can now actually preview the same passage with all the refinements that we've made with different voices. So let's try Wade as an example, just something entirely different here. And we'll click on create. All right, let's listen to Wade. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's pretty good, but let's listen to a couple of more just to see what some alternatives might sound like. Let's try Ramona. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleague. No, I already don't like that one. <laughs> Let's try Jeremy. I've had good success with him in the past. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's pretty good. The other thing I would remind you of again is remember we've generated all of these clips here. So it's important to not use up your credits that you get on your monthly allotment. No recording studio is going to give you back any time. So that's a real value here. Let's go ahead and delete the unused uh, items that we're not going to be using. Incidentally, another feature that you can take advantage of once you're happy with this recording is you can actually render by sentence. The advantage is, is that if you're editing these audio clips together with video or with e-learning, you can actually place them on specific slides one by one. So I'm going to go ahead and create this with all the sentences required for the full narration. 
So there's my audio clips to that make up this little passage here. I can preview just one sentence at a time if I wish. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. And of course, one of the things that you can do is that you can click on the refresh icon here to bring just the sentence for that particular passage up and then do some further edits just to massage the recording itself and end up with a new recording. Once you're done with all of the edits and all of the changes that you wish, you can actually combine all of your clips together back into one. Of course, remember, once you combine a series of clips together, you will lose the ability to delete those and get a credit for that particular clip. Let's go ahead and combine these now. We'll call this intro and create that clip. And of course, now we're free to download this and use it in our e-learning course. In the description of this video, you'll find a link that will take you to the WellSet Help Center. From there, you can get additional hints and tips on pronunciation. Bookmark the link so you can find it again later. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.